Hey guys, Nit here, and before we start this video, I've got a very, very good news. My voice is finally back. So, um, in case you don't know, about two weeks ago, I started waking up with a really dry throat. I, I didn't really know why. I thought maybe I started sleeping with my mouth open or something. I, I've got two fans in, in my room, too, which probably doesn't help. But I w I'd wake up in my morning, my throat was dry, so I thought, eh, maybe I just sleep with my mouth open or something. It, it's probably a temporary thing. Anyway, so after about three or four days of this, of me just waking up and immediately pouring like four glasses of water to soothe my throat and having a cough drop, it, it got really bad. I woke up one day and my voice was, um, I, I don't want to say completely gone, but it was very different. I, I could not like, I could not communicate a higher level of speaking. Like my, my tone in my voice could not get high. You know that, that thing where people, that singers do, it's like me, 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 me. It was like that. Well, my voice just like cracked and died after the third me, right? It was like me, 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 yeah, for the rest of the time, right? Oh, and all I would let out when I tried to speak in like a high C, maybe might be the note that I, I couldn't hit, or like the, the higher notes I couldn't hit. Whenever I try and speak them, my throat, I just let out this weird ah, noise. I couldn't do it, so that was awful. But today, I think I could officially say my voice is back. So that's good news. That's very good news. Anyway. We've already exhausted a minute here, so, okay, let's get into the topic. So, what I want to talk about today are my thoughts on, um, on YouTube Red, as a content creator and as a, as a consumer of YouTube media, if you will. So, I've had this service for about half a month now. I got it in, like, at the start of November, and today's the 16th, I believe. So, I've, I've, had, I've had a good 16 days to experiment and use this thing. And to be quite honest, I'm actually messing with my phone right now. I don't know why you guys can't see it. But um, to be quite honest, I like YouTube Red. It's very convenient, to be honest. We'll talk about the price in a second, but the features it offers are very convenient. I, I had to download it on... I had to actually create a separate Google Plus account and download it there because for whatever reason, it wouldn't accept like my PayPal on this account. I'm not sure why. But anyway, I created a separate account and downloaded that and then linked my phone to that account. And it's a very convenient feature. It, YouTube Red's really nice in that sense. I, I What I'll do is before like classes start... I'll download a podcast or something. Typically, I, I watch the PKA podcast with Woody's Gamer Tag a lot, right? Now, I am a Patreon, mind you, so I'm entitled to download these things as far as my moral values are concerned. 20 bucks a month, I can download a podcast. But, um, anyway, I downloaded that podcast this morning, and, or er, about a couple mornings ago. I, I've been doing this consistently for about a week. And, like, podcasts usually last about four hours to be on, on the average, or at least this one does. So, it, it, it really keep me going for about, like, three days of, of class, you know? Download it in the mornings or like before I went to bed and then throughout the day I'd listen to that podcast whenever I had excess time when I couldn't go home like oftentimes between classes I, I just wouldn't go home because it wouldn't really be worth it You know like 15 minute drive there 15 minute drive back. It, it's just not practical So instead I just like sit down in the library maybe take a nap and have a podcast in my ear So that, that, that that's pretty cool, right? I've also downloaded a few other videos to keep me occupied. I downloaded the entirety of of the 1984 audiobook as well, which I'm um, 1984, really good book if you haven't read it. It's about George Orwell, it, it, or it was uh, written by George Orwell. It's about a um a dystopian society, if you will, with um with like the, these people are always or the government specifically is always monitoring these people. It's a really good book, and it's <clears throat> I'm sorry, it's a it's a really good book, and it's especially relevant now with like the NSA and everything. It's it, it's a cool thing. I recommend you read it. But anyway, I downloaded that audiobook, and I've already read the book like twice. I'm not sure why. I guess it's pretty cool. It, it took up like almost two gigabytes, though. It was awful. And I also downloaded um, another audiobook called The Wealth of Nations. And to be completely honest, I don't understand half of it, but I feel smart when I'm listening to it, so that's nice. Also, no ads. That's that's something I didn't notice, or you don't notice it when you're using the feature, but afterwards you'll think about it. It's like, hey, that was pretty convenient. I, I appreciate that, especially me listening to long four, not four to nine hour videos. So, so that's something I appreciate. So overall, it's a, it, YouTube Red's convenient. It, it helps with little minor conveniences, inconveniences here and there, and fixes them, right? That said, it costs $9.99 a month. My Netflix subscription costs just as much as this. And to be quite honest, that's a little bit absurd, right? I mean, YouTube Red is essentially competing with services like Ad, or, um, Adblock and um, like Convert Helper or other download softwares that you can use on a computer, right? And the, both of those are free. Adblock and on Download Helper for Mozilla Firefox are two very, very big ones that essentially combined accomplish the exact same thing as YouTube Red. So that, that's a little odd, right? I mean, YouTube Red is competing with free. And if you want to beat free, you have to office offer a service or product that's a better than free. And so far, YouTube hasn't really done that. And it doesn't seem like they're going to block or fully block the Adblock software or... Um, or, or any of those browser plugins that you can have to help you download videos anytime soon, which is a little, 
It's a little strange. You're going to have to do that or they're at least going to have to offer a better product. Because to be honest, right now, I wouldn't recommend the average person buy this. You know, if I'm just a casual YouTuber that watches videos every now and then, YouTube Red is probably really isn't for me. That said, so with, without, a, without another way, I guess you could say, as a content creator, I, I don't know how I feel about YouTube Red, right? I mean, I make videos. I don't necessarily do it for money, although it's a very nice perk. You know, it kind of validates it. It's like, hey... Hey man, what do you do for fun? It's like, oh, I play Xbox. And when they're like, nerd, hey, I bet you I make more money playing Xbox than you do at a poker game. That's always a nice thing to say. Trust trust me, you should say that. It makes people really happy. You know, no, no, don't say that. I was being sarcastic. Dear God, don't don't tell that to people. Oh God, what have I done? Anyway, but but like, like I don't do YouTube for the money, as I was saying. It, it kind of validates playing Xbox all day when I get the chance, and I, I like that. Like, before I did YouTube... At least before I got paid for it, I'd always kind of feel a little bit sluggish when I was playing Xbox for like three hours, four hours straight on a Saturday. Just thinking, oh, how productive could I be, right? I, I feel sloppy. And I still do what I do now, but to a lesser extent. I feel like, well, maybe I could, maybe this time could also later on be allocated to making a video. So that's nice, although it rarely is, so I apologize. But oftentimes, like, it, it, it's nice. The payment's a nice bonus for me. It's not the necessity is what I'm trying to stress, stress right? I don't need to get paid for YouTube, and I'm not doing it to get paid. So um, my opinion is going to be a little bit like um, different from someone such as PewDiePie, who does YouTube for a living, does it, um, and, and makes a lot of significant money, right? But that said, it seems like YouTube Red's beneficial to me slightly in the economic sort of thing sense, right? I mean, YouTube payments are dictated by a thing called CPM, which stands for count per thousand. Now, M there is the Roman numeral for thousand. So count per thousand is how you get paid, right? Per thousand views, you'll get X amount of money. Usually, it's not much. Usually, a CPM could be up to, like, I, I don't even want to say number because I could be very wrong here. I'm not even exactly sure what mine is, and I should be. But um, usually, I'd, I'd say it's probably, like, a dollar, maybe, maybe, maybe two at most, right? And that's, and that's, of course, after YouTube and whatever network you're partnered with, if any, takes their cut. YouTube takes a 40% cut, and then if you're partnered with the network, they can take anywhere from maybe a, from, from a 20 all the way to a, to a 70% cut of that as well, right? So, essentially, YouTubers are left with a very small amount of money after what they've done. They, they don't really get paid in accordance to what they do on the grand scheme of things. So, that's, that's, that's kind of bad already for, for a lot of guys. But, um... YouTube Red is a bit different, right? A YouTube Red view counts a little bit differently. YouTube Red judges it very, um, in a very cool way, in my opinion, right? Because I pay $9.99 a month for YouTube Red. Here's what happens. I'm not sure how much of this $9.99 goes to YouTube. I'm going to say 40% of the $9.99 a month I pay for YouTube Red goes to YouTube. The remaining 60% goes to the content creators, right? So, and here's how it's distributed. Say I watch two hours of PewDiePie and I watch an hour of, um... Of, of uh, Markiplier, right? Hypothetically, I, mean, I, I don't really care for PewDiePie, but that's a different story. He's a cool guy anyway. Also, quick note about YouTube Red. It's got a couple mini-series involving like PewDiePie and a couple other guys. I haven't checked those out, so I can't really criticize or anything. I've got nothing against PewDiePie or Markiplier or any of them. I'm just using, using them as an example in this. But anyway, so I watched two hours of PewDiePie. I watched an hour of Markiplier, right? So what would, here's what happens. PewDiePie would essentially get 33% of the... Of the 60% cut that YouTube isn't taking. YouTube takes 40% 40, 40 of the 9.99. PewDiePie is going to get 30% of that 60% that's left over, or 33% of that 60% that's left over for an hour. Since I watched two hours of PewDiePie, for instance, he's going to get 66% of, um, of the 60% that's left over. And since I mar watched Markiplier for another hour, he's going to get 33%, right? And that, that might not be the best statistic to you. Say I watch, um, Say I watch, um, say, say you watch me for an hour, right? And then you watch an hour of PewDiePie, and then an hour of Markiplier, and then an hour of Allie, right? So that, that, that's four hours you've watched, and what would happen is YouTube, after they took their 40% share, all the remaining revenue of that 60% would be divided among us four equally, by 25%, right? And it, it's kind of cool, because essentially, every YouTuber, YouTube Red View is probably going to count for a lot more than a CPM. A single view is worth like maybe 0.1 of a cent when, when, you, when you account for everything towards the YouTuber, right? Watching, if you're watching this video right now, essentially I'm going to get like, personally, if I monetize, should I monetize this video, I'd only get like 0.5 or 0.1 to 0.5 of a cent off of the view. So it's, so, so it's not exactly, um, it, it's, it's not exactly a whole lot of money per view. But with YouTube Red, everyone could be making up to like 6, 7, 10 cents 
off of every view. And that's only for a five minute video. Say I upload a podcast that lasts like nine hours, right? And then uh, everyone else but me, you only spend like 30 minutes on accumulatively. That means I get a lot of your YouTube red money. Hypothetically, of course, I'm, I don't upload nine hour podcasts. I don't think I, I'd be able to cope with that. My throat would probably dry up and I just die mid podcast. That would be an interesting podcast. Wouldn't it? That'd get, that would get views. YouTube star dies on pot. Well, I'd, that'd be humbling to call me. So anyways, guys, I'm getting off traffic here. I am digressing way too much, and it's also late. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. This was an interesting kind of opinionated, in a sense, video that I made, although I think it took a relatively moderate stance anyway. I don't do a lot of these. I don't, I don't like to, um, to talk politics in, um, in public, so to speak, because typically everyone's got their own views aligned, and they might look at you funny. But um, with, the, with, with this sort of thing, I feel that's, that's definitely uh, a, a lighter a lighter topic to discuss. So thank you for watching. Um, uh, and I hope to see you in my next video, guys. Like if you like, dislike if you dislike. Subscribe if you'd like to be sexier. It's actually clinically proven that um, if you subscribe to this channel, you can grow up to 66% better looking. Trust me. Trust me. When I did it, I, I went from, from, a, from a three to a nine. It's amazing. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. My name is Nate. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone.